everybody, good afternoon to Mixed Media Monday. My name's Kay and this is Alfie. Hello. <laughs> can you hear him? <laughs> actually, yeah. The camera's so bad that it can actually see me. Go on, wave again. A little bit more. <laughs> so, um, what are we doing today? Um, well, it's been quite a busy day. Oh, hang on a minute. This is just... Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Oh, that's dreadful. Sorry, I just turned the uh, volume off my phone. Hi, Hilary. Hi, Glyn. Hi, Lorna, Rachel, Kim, Andrea, and Riley Davis. You are a bit of a star. Thank you so much for our prezzies. Um, Ella was really, really quite emotional. She was really, really grateful for someone actually taking the time and the trouble to make something so beautiful so thank you very much mine's just there Alfie in front of you on my desk so um yeah beautiful absolutely beautiful look what she's made da -da -da, here it comes in it's a gorgeous little box and inside is a lovely little miniature book look and anyone who knows me knows that I actually do use a lot of post-it notes. Um, I always give the um, producers and directors post-it notes with all the demo items so they don't have to um, think about it. They're just there in front of them. So this is going is on my desk and is being used and um, I love it to bits. I think it's really beautiful and useful which really goes with my philosophy. I just love that, so thank you so much. You are an angel. Quite touched by that, thank you. And we needed to be cheered up. Thanks, Alfie. Um, yes, so um, what are we doing today? We're saying hello to Wendy Wallace. Hello, yes, my signature bee, absolutely. Lisa, hi, darling. Louise McC um, Mackay, is it Mackay or Mackay? Mackay, I think. Um, our Lorna, I've seen Lorna before. Sally, Kerry, hello, my DT, you are wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I haven't been in touch recently, but um, I am so grateful for everything that you've done for us on the last show and what's coming up as well, because we have got uh, an amazing box kit coming up very, very soon. So um, thank you, girls. You are my rocks. You really are. So, <clears throat> right now, Maggie, hello. I like your icon. That's really good. Lisa, hello, sweetie. How are you? Kim, dear, Jill, thank you so um, much. Um, I know I messaged you, but I got a really huge bag of um, fairy lights and fairy bulbs off uh, our Jill, and it just made me smile, made my day. Um, so what are we going to do today? Well, do you know what? It's been such a busy day that um, and weekend that I haven't actually fully formed and prepared really what I'm going to be doing. So I just quickly went through my um, stamps and thought, right, OK, I haven't used Elsie for ages and I love this stamp. Absolutely love it. It's named after my grandma um and she is just so pretty i love her um an old favorite of mine script so i'm going to be using a bit of that always use a bit of that um i quite like the butterfly off here but the sentiments are quite good too so this is mindfulness number two so that is called script i did tell you that and i'm so into this I really am. I know that I use it a lot, but you know, there's still a lot more in there to come. So uh, Flower Heads, which is a nice big stamp by our um, Asher Marquette. So I'm going to be using those. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing, but you know, we can discover it at the same time. Please shout out if you think we should do a certain thing. I'll use a certain colour or stamp something different or emboss or whatever. So you can we can craft together, can't we? And of course all of these um we will be giving two sets of these away. The new ones, not used. Not yeah, not not mine, not the used ones. <laughs> Brand new ones to two people. So you know what to do. Um comment, like and share and um we will pick the winner out. Alfie will pick the winner out tomorrow yeah. and announce it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Ella will. Okay. Oh, sending lots of love to Ella from everybody because she's really suffered this weekend. She's um, had um, a really massively swollen face and trouble with her wisdom tooth. So she's on antibiotics now, but we couldn't get an emergency on Saturday or Sunday. So the poor love has been really under the weather. So um, send her all your love if you contact her. Okay, so yeah, two winners will win a set of these. Don't worry if you already have um, one or more of these because we can always do swapsies for stamps that you haven't got. So don't worry about that if you do win. Okay, so um, what else? Oh yes, news. So, dun, 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 let me have a sip of tea. On the, could you get my diary please darling? It's just next to you. Because I always get the dates wrong, so um, not that one, the diaries, thanks darling. The other one. The other one. <laughs> right, so in a couple of weeks we are going to have a one day special launch on Hachanda and it launches on Saturday the 13th of March at, at, in the afternoon, five o'clock I think we, we launch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah five o'clock we launch it and it goes through to Saturday uh, Sunday as well so it's Saturday evening through to Sunday and it's um, a one-day special what they call on a chanda so there's five hours of shows and we are launching dun, 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 our box kit number three um, really excited about it it's a really nice kit loads of stamps we've got uh, papers in there we've got dies we've got stencils we've got all sorts and our dt have done some amazing um, projects for them all step by steps loads of stuff in there and of course it is one of our famous box kits so um be on the ready i will actually do a sneak peek next monday as well and um, a demo for you then and um yeah so maybe you might be able to even put a pre-order in so keep your ears open I'm really excited about that because we love doing our, our box kits and um, we thank the DT very much because um, we had to do it really short notice. We were due to do it in July and they said, and they said, well, we need it before then. So thanks very much to all the girls. Hi, Linda. Her mum is called Elsie too. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I love the name Elsie as well. Um, hi, Hayley. And my mates here. Hello, Anne, darling. Um, Michelle, Kim, Karen. Hello, all of you. Thanks very much for dropping by. Oh, that's really nice. We've got some lovely comments there. Thank you so much. Right, so shall we get to play? Do you want to come on down then? Right, I think what we'll do is we'll start with getting some colour on some card, okay? So I've been using loads of um, translucent paints recently, so I thought I'd actually... Christine's asked if you could use the mermaid colours. The mermaid colours in the um, in the luscious, okay. We can look at that, definitely. Let me get those out then. Mermaid colours. Okay, so mermaid colours are... So we have crushed velvet, lime spritzer, mermaid tresses, mermaid's tail, and Poseidon blue. And a few people are asking about box kits one and two. Box kits one and two. One, we don't have any left at all, because once the print one's done, it's done. Um, we do have a handful of number two left that we thought we'd completely sold out and then we found a box under the table. So <laughs> we do have literally just a handful of those. Are those on the website now? Mm -hmm. So Alfie's put them on the website for you so you can actually, if you're quick, you can actually get those. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just get some colour down on here. And I've got some... Um, flat matte colours they're just the same as all the other colours that we do in our paint range that they are a true fabric paint as well so I've got some rouge some porcelain um, some this is a townhouse teal don't know where the label's gone and this is marshmallow but we've got lots more so let me just pop that there out of the way and what I think I might do actually is where did I put my there she is I think I want actually her to be 
um, quite a focus and not have um, colour in the background. So what I'm, I'll do is I'll paint her fur, I'll stamp her first and I'll use a, um, a stamping platform. Make sure she's butted up to the corner there. Just coming in a little bit higher, there we go. Linda's just asking why you stored your Luscious upside down. <clears throat> the reason why I start, uh, store my Luscious upside down is so I can see the colours and it's purely for, for that reason. If I had time, I'd actually put a sticker on top and actually coloured the sticker like I've done with my paints. See, that colour has come off there, so I'll just put that on. But I've just um, just got some stickers and painted them and just stuck them on the top there. So that that is literally the only reason. And Linda asked about the cabinets for Luscious. Cabinets um, for Luscious, they? do have they? some. Um, and I, I still need to follow up on the last time that people asked about it. Um, so yes, we do have some. Okay. Just contact me. So hopefully you heard that. Yes, we do have some. Just contact Alfie directly because, um, yeah, we have them for um, our retreats and we do have a, a couple left over. Okay, so I'm going to actually stamp Elsie onto here, but that's only just as a guide, So, because I'm going to re-stamp it as well. So if I just do it in a in a pale colour. Sharon's asked a very good question. When can we pre-order the box kit? Yeah, when can we pre-order the box kit, Elsie? Well, if I'd known you were going to mention it today, it could have today. <laughs> can you hear him? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't supposed to mention it today, was I? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, Alfie. <laughs> um, is there any way you can sort of put it on the on the website while we're doing this? Possibly, maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bear with us. And he, uh, Alfie, is so good. He's going to pop it on the website now. So the reason why I actually took um, a little print of it onto scrap paper was that <clears throat> I actually wanted just to see the ghost of the image there. Then when I paint it, I know where she's going to be. I'm going to leave this stamp in the stamping platform so that when I come back to do the second image it's in exactly the same place. Okay. <laughs> Wendy says remind me to never tell us you a secret. Yeah I'm a bit rubbish aren't I really. <laughs> I'm very good at keeping other people's secrets usually because I forget because <laughs> I've got such a bad memory. <laughs> Online it says box kit number two is out of stock, Alfie. Okay, I'll add some there. He'll, uh, he'll sort that out for you. So I want to make sure it's a box with stamps, papers, dies, embossing folder and a magazine packed with step by steps. You're right, Jill. It's really good and great value for money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paint her face in with a little bit of porcelain. When did you say the ODS was? The ODS is 13th and 14th of March, which is um, literally just a couple of weeks away. So this is going to be where her face is. I know it looks a bit scary at the moment, don't worry. <clears throat> and I'm just taking the smallest amount of the rouge just to dab on her face there. And there. <clears throat> and I think what we're going to do her fur in. Let's do um, let's do a fur in um, this hot cocoa. So this is all matte paint. So I'm just going to cover the fur bit in this and let's put a bit of that porcelain in as well just to make it a little bit of a variegated colour in there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so Stephanie says, hi everyone, just got in from work, can only watch for a bit now and we'll watch the rest later. No problem, darling. Um, thank you very much. 
Right, so, and then I think a hair, maybe that needs to be, should we go for a bit of a red head? So let's get post box red, and let's take the tiniest amount and add that to that hot cocoa that we've already got there. Oh, I've mixed porcelain in with it, never mind. So we've only got just a little bit of hair around here. It's mostly black. And then, should we go for red? Let's go for red. Let's see what happens. It could turn out absolutely dreadful, this, but you know, that's what playing is all about. So this is post box red and let's have a furry red hat here and let's do some bits of red round here for it to sort of give an impression of her coat. Okay, right so now we want to do the background don't we? So let me just cover these up. So those colours I was using were hot cocoa, was the brown. Um, but post box red, which is the red, the rouge for her cheeks, and the porcelain for her face. Um, and then I'm just going to come in with some townhouse teal, and I'm just going to put a bit of colour down. There we go. So yeah, the next magazine, as I say, is out on the 13th and 14th of March on Hachanda. Um, I will be doing a sneak peek tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, next Monday. There we go. And let's go for a little bit of this marshmallow, which is a real cold. There we go. You can see now. Let me come up a little bit, which is quite a cold, bluey pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that that's fine. Just with the, a couple of colours on there, and then we can see how we go with that. I think it probably needs some splattering as well. So clean my brush, cover those up. Let's get a bit of um, gesso in here. Let's see what happens with this. Lots of water.
homemade gone. tresses. Right. Sound is back, so nobody heard any of that. Nobody heard anything. Okay, so Alfie now has put on the website um, an item which you can pre-order box kit number three. Now the image is wrong because we don't have an image of it at the moment to hand. So it says box kit number three pre-order. So you can actually order that now. Um, there are also a small stock of box kit number two. So that's good to go. Mermaid tresses. That's the one. Okay. So what I've done with this, hopefully you'll all have um, used our luscious before, but it's a, a pigment powder with a binder and lots of lovely micro in it. And this one's got different colors in. And I've just taken a wet brush. I've dipped it into the powder and then into a palette. And as you can see, I've already got some there and all you need to do is just wet it to reconstitute it because we've just made a watercolor basically, but you can actually mix it with an acrylic medium to make acrylic paints or um, texture paste and loads and loads of other things. I know they are so pretty. The colors are gorgeous. Okay, so I think what we'll, we'll do is just literally swipe that over. Let's have a look at what she looks like. And then we probably need a, a bit of pink to go with that, don't we? Or teal. Have we got any teal there? Oh, I just love these colors. They're gorgeous. Let's have another one. Let's go in from the other end. Okay. Um, so that's, oh, sugar. I really swore. I didn't swear. I didn't, I promise. Oh, Honest. Really? Honest. All is not lost. All is not lost. I know, I know, I'm not, I'm not exactly <laughs> thrifty, am I? Yes, I'm a thrifty crafter. Can you use dragon's blood? Can I use dragon's blood? Yeah, I can use dragon's blood. Let's have a look at dragon's blood. So. And Sarah just says, can you recap what you did to Elsie's stamp, please, the end part? Yeah, no problem. Dragon's blood. Yeah, dragon's blood is not going to go, but I will, I will show you dragon's blood definitely. This is dragon's blood. Let me just wet that down a little bit. I think we could use pink with with these. So dragon's blood. not not creamy enough can you see how it's a bit wishy-washy you just need it to be thick like single cream to get some color from it that gorgeous color that's such a beautiful color i love that right i'm going to use pink because that will go so that's from the set in the pink Okay, so in the pink, and this is all the pink one. And oh, I found out. Oh, that's not dragon's blood. Okay, so pink, my lovelies. Just bring that over so you can see it. Wet brush, lots of, of the luscious powder. Mix it in. Oh, that's lovely. And then you just want to, it's easier if you actually do this with warm water. I'm using cold water, so it takes a little bit for, for it just to soak in. It's like mixing flour and water together. There we go. A bit more water. These um, palettes are available on the website, by the way. Okay. 
and let's just now even though this is dried you can actually reconstitute it and get them to mix so I'm just going to do that Let me bring that in a little bit so you can see so you can see how that's mixing in with the blue oh that's nice that's nice let's see whether that's going to go yeah that's okay isn't it that's not too bad yeah. so and says if you have no luscious where would be a good place to start right if you have no luscious the best place to, place to start is have a look at all these sets and you'll be drawn definitely to um, your favorite colors and I always think that's a, the best way to start because then you'll you'll be confident in your use of them um, so as I say they're all on the website but if you like pinks go for your pinks if you like um, blues and greens go for your um, your peacock colors if you like something a little more different go for verdigris um, so it just depends on what's your favorite colors i personally think that is the best way i always say that when people are choosing colors in class that's what we we tend to go to is um is favorites so if you tell me what you normally end up and also it's reflecting what people wear as well normally when i'm in a workshop i can tell what people's favorite colors are just by what they're wearing that day um, it's usually the case. No, it's not foolproof, but it's usually the case. So I'm just splodging some of this pink. It's literally just called pink, along with the um, mermaid tresses. And what colour? What two colours did you use in the flowers? The flowers. Um, I've just said that. So it's mermaid tresses, okay. which is this one, and pink, which is this one. Mm -hmm. So I think three flowers is, is fine. And if you want, you can actually go over the top and intensify the colours if you want to. And of course, what's great about embossing them to start with is the fact that it resists all of the colour that you're putting on. So that's not too bad. Let me just tidy that up. And I am asking, the are they opaque? Um, they are opaque because they have got particles in them. So even though um, they look a lot transparent, um, given the chance they will cover up a black line, definitely. Um, but because we have actually used an, a clear embossing powder over the top, it resists the water um, from the luscious. So I'm just going to blast this. I'll be back in a minute. So, um, lovely colours. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is hard to decide. I know, um, but at least a good value for money. So I'm going to leave those to dry for a minute, and then I think. We might try and see whether this will actually go over the top of of Elsie. Noala says it's weird with Kay not repeating the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is weird. I've got I've got into the habit of doing it. I find myself going <laughs> wanting to actually just say something. Oh, there's a Mr. D'Souza watching. Oh, Craig. Hello, my darling. Gosh, lovely to see you or hear from you. <laughs> How the devil are you? <laughs> he comes at the most exciting point, doesn't he? When I'm doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put Elsie back into here. I haven't moved the stamp at all, so she's still in the same position. Um, I'm just going to get a little one in that corner there without them sticking together just to hold that nice and firmly down. Okay, so we're going to come in with the black verse fine again. Mm 
Right, because this is watercolour card, this is probably going to need a few, a few going over because there's lots of solid black and there's quite a texture to this paper. So I didn't make the job really hard for myself, didn't I? So I'm just going to go over the top. I see here where the the paint hasn't quite dried. It's actually pulled the paint off, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to give it a blast with my heat gun just to dry that ink off and that paint. a bit there we go so you can see how much black there is and how much texture there is but you know that's the nature of watercolor card come on why won't you close he life tellier mm. <laughs> it's like why won't you close What have I done? Answers on the postcard. Yeah, answers on the postcard, please. Oh, this is turning out great today, isn't it? It's... <laughs> Sorry. I'm just having a laughing fit. I just can't. I can't seem to do anything right today. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's, it's Craig D'Souza, he's put me off. He always does that. <laughs> yeah, he always does that. It puts me right off. And I'm just going to do her eye again. Because she looks a bit squiffied there. <laughs> yeah, it is because you're watching Craig. <laughs> it just put me off completely. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. So she looks lovely. I still like the texture here, but I wanted to make sure her face was was visible. Okay, so let's put that away. What ink was it that you used? The black? Oh, it's the Versafine that I'm using. The Versafine black. And again, that we've always got that on the website. So I'm just going to dry her off because Versafine, um, the lovely thing about it is you get fine lines, but it does take a while to dry because it's um, an oil-based ink. So I always tend to smudge it. If I don't dry it off, I'm really messy and I do tend to just smudge the whole thing. So I'm just going to dry that off and see how we get on. Right, hopefully that's partially dry. Now um, let's have a go and see whether I can stamp that frame and see whether that's going to match nicely. Might not so that's what crafting's about just try it out and see whether it works and then at least we'll have a few elements and then we'll do some more stamping actually on the background there so I'll just put her to one side. Let's get should we emboss this? Let's emboss it. Okay, so if I'm going to emboss it, let's get some colour in here. It would help if I knew where I put my embossing powders. Maybe I won't emboss it then. <laughs> Is that in front of you? No, 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 I was going to go for colour. Oh. I was going to go for colour. Not to worry, we're going to go for black. We're going to stick with black. Yeah, I just thought it'd be nice if we um, put some colour on. There's some, well, the, the white crystal dough is next to easy peasy. Oh, yeah. Um, then it'd need to be on black card, really. Not to worry, we'll just do this. I could have used coloured ink, to be, to be fair. Lisa says, better than comedy show. <laughs> 
do you know what i it's i, I feel really all at sea because i haven't prepared the, um for it but there was nothing for it i had i had to do what i had to do this morning you know deadlines and all that we're gonna so. pass the cat round after <laughs> Oh, we should tell you about Friday night. Should we tell them about Friday night, Alfie? Yeah. <laughs> so Friday night, we're invited to my brother's um, murder mystery over Zoom. I'd never done one of these before. Had no idea what it was all about. We just got a message to say, this is how you're going to dress up. And we'll, we'll meet you at 7 o'clock. Make sure you've, you've got your drinks at the ready. So Alfie was um, a bit of a cricketer boff, weren't you? Mm -hmm. um, and I was um, <laughs> an artist. Strangely enough, I wonder why they gave me that part. <laughs> and we had to really ham it up and, and everything. And um, we had our tea, wolfed it down and got ready. And it was really, really good fun. Um, the, the trouble was that we actually drunk a lot more than we would normally drink. <laughs> Well, you did. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. <laughs> Didn't you have a whole bottle of red to yourself, Alfie? Oh, that was after your beers. You had a few beers. Anywho, <laughs> we hadn't drunk. I think you get out of the habit when you don't go out anywhere. <laughs> Anyway, so we were determined to um, to have a good night, and my brother was drinking martinis, and we had his two daughters and their partners in as well. I tell you, I was worse for wear. <laughs> I, I couldn't even get upstairs without the help of Alfie. <laughs> oh dear, I can't remember what happened. I was the murderer, apparently. <laughs> And I murdered Dr. Doogood, <laughs> but it was really good fun. All in aid of Macmillan as well. So if you ever get the chance of playing one of those games, it was such good fun. It really was. Oh, dear. Sarah's asked, can you stamp and emboss on acetate? Yes, you can stamp and emboss on acetate, Sarah. Um, you just need to use the acetate that is heat resistant. It will be on the package. So just make sure that when you order it, it does have that on it. I don't think we've got any left on our website at all. No, no Alfie says. Okay, so um, I think with this, it does need some colour. Um, now, this opaque matte paint will cover the black lines, so I'm going to make sure that I add plenty of water, but it's concentrated anyway, so you would normally do that anyhow. And then before it dries just give it a bit of a, a wipe over with a rag and you'll get just a nice hint of color which should let's just try it yeah it should tie in quite nicely with with what we're doing again let me just wipe over that embossing with the rag and then i'm going to do the same with the marshmallow there we go so remember, with these paints, you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount because they are so concentrated. There we go. That just takes away some of that blinding whiteness. And then just wipe over the embossing. And that just gives you something like that yeah that that'll do that's okay let's see how we get on with that so let's just try before i do my stamping if that's going to go because i was thinking maybe something like that and something like that possibly wow garish colors okay so <laughs> i wish you could see alfie you're so supportive i love you so much darling i really do He's laughing and shaking his head at my my composition <laughs> and the garish colours. <laughs> You're not being nice, darling. It's like RuPaul's Drag Race. It's like what? RuPaul's Drag Race? Who said that? I did just that. You! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 
I, do, do you know it doesn't it doesn't bear an answer that it really doesn't <laughs> i even put makeup on for you but it's not that bad they're talking about you talk about that oh this oh, God. <laughs> i thought you were talking about me no. i was like thanks a lot <laughs> i'm all natural oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop now. Oh dear me. <laughs> Script. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> if I do this at a chanda, they turn me off, you know. <laughs> they turn me mic off. Oh dear, dear. <laughs> it is a bit bright, isn't it? <laughs> Just a little bit. She'll get some words. Oh dear me. I think we probably just need just like a single word. I don't think I'm going to use that butterfly because it just it will be over egging the pudding. But I might just use this one here. When you think you should skip the prep more often. <laughs> Makes it a lot more exciting. <laughs> Nerve wracking for me, mind. <laughs> oh dear. Suddenly gone very, very quiet, Alfie. I wonder why that is. I'm reading all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> read them out because I, I can't do and read at the same time. Most people think the alcohol hasn't worn off from Friday yet. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. <laughs> oh, I promise I've got tea. Yeah, they don't believe Oh dear, dear me. Right, okay, so I think we need to do something with the edges. So I'm just going to take <laughs> my <laughs> ink pad. <laughs> I wasn't actually drinking gin and tonic on Friday night, was I? No. I had a bottle of Prosecco. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't that that killed me. Well, it was. <laughs> it was the tequila afterwards. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I think what I might do is just chuck this all over the edges and all of the ink that's still wet will catch it. So it'll just pick up the odd bit of ink. My arm's in the way. Oh. What's that, Kelly? I'm in a group where we swap journals every month and at the end of the year we get it back. Oh, do you know what? We did that actually a few years ago and it was really, really lovely to do that. So, yeah, what a great thing to do. Having a group to swap journals and doing pages. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, um, I don't know whether you can see that. It's just behind me. Bless him, he's asleep. Sorry for moving about. Yeah, you can see it's just picked up the odd tiny little bit. So not all over, which is nice. Okay. Well, Lorna says she needs to send us some Cornish gin. That sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah, that is a plan. Definitely. Wow, this is just so bright. Okay, so my journal words, where, where are they? So these are from Mike, and um, he's done these club journal words, which I love. They're just, as you can tell, they're always on my desk. And so they've got journal words and phrases. Look at the state of my desk today. Um, 
I think we need this one today, don't we? <laughs> Laughter. I think we'll have that one. So, scrap of paper. Oh dear, my ribs hurt. <laughs> yes, one tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. <laughs> I think I had that on a stamp once, didn't I, <laughs> a few years ago. Yeah, I'm not supposed to really take the advice of that. <laughs> Can you see these? Sorry, I was at the bottom there. Do apologise. So these um, these were the journal words uh, from Mike Deakin. Um, that's number four. And um, we're just going to pop in there. Cool. Di's been booking her COVID vaccine. That's good. Oh, I've got mine as well, Di. Yeah, I'm, I'm in on Friday morning. Can't wait. About time. Because we were a bit, Bacillor was a bit late. So, yeah, which is a really good thing. So, please, please, please have your vaccine. Yes, please have your vaccine because um, my dad's just contracted um, coronavirus, so it was um, a bit worrying. Um, but because he's had his vaccine, um, it, I think it's probably saved his life. So he's um, looks like he's on the mend, which is a relief. Um, so he is he is in a nursing home, so. Um, is, is very well cared for. Um, he probably contracted it when he, he went to um, went to the doctor's to have his chest. Anyway, whatever. But he's had his uh, vaccine a few right at the beginning. And I think that's what saved his life. It really has. So I'm going to use some watered down. Quite a few people only have had it. I think. The, the first vaccine. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you have. Yeah. Mine couldn't come soon enough, I tell you. But different people, different areas get them at different times. It, do you know what's ironic? It's ironic that she looks really quite miserable, but we're putting laughter underneath. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what... You could do something like a red pair of joker lips. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you come up with ideas that idea You want me to put a smile on her face I'm not having joker lips on Watch this, I'll make a right mess of it now Where's my pen gone? Stop laughing Otherwise you'll make me <laughs> There you go it's not a moustache, it's a smile, Alfie. Look. I'm just going to go over that to fill in the black there. <laughs> joker lips, no. Alfie's got this horrendous mask that's like a joker smile. And he put it on and walked in one day and frightened the living daylights out of me. Didn't you, honey? Mm -hmm. He thinks it's funny, you see. He thinks it's hilarious to make me jump. <laughs> Which is very easy to do, actually, isn't it? <laughs> One of those people who can jump at the, the least sound. So, um, let's put some, a bit of foam on, on this. just to hold that in place, me thinks. Oh, thanks for your nice comments. That's so nice, Karen, Marsha. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Maybe we should let Alfie choose the colours next week. <laughs> I think we will. Should we do that, Alfie? Can do.
So <laughs> I can't believe these. And then what should we do with these? Let's just cut that a little bit more. Can you see this? Okay, there we go. Right to hoot. Bit of um, nice strong acrylic glue. Yeah, Julia said maybe Alfie should demo next week. <laughs> I think that's a really good idea, actually. That would be a right laugh. <laughs> It would be a right laugh. What would you make, Alfie? What would you do? Well, I just don't know. <laughs> Actually, he's very good at demonstrating flitter glue, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll just do a massive flitter glue there. <laughs> Wow, it does grab quickly, this glue. So Jeanette's just asked what was the frame? The Which frame, let, ooh, I've got glue on my hands, just bear with a minute. Right, the frame, this one, is actually off the flower heads one, which I'll just bring into shot in a second. There it is. It's this one. Flower heads by um, Asha Marquette. It's a real favourite. Um, this has become, and um, we did. Uh, we used some of the um, embossing powders on these last week, didn't we? Was it last week? A couple of weeks ago, whichever. But yeah, there's some really lovely samples by the DT. Um, so that's the big frame. I used that little one to do samples of um, paint swatches and stuff. And it's got Flower Bloom Grow Flourish Unfold Botany Perfume and Radiant, which will fit in here. And of course, these will actually fit along the stems as well. And this is the flower stamp that I've used there as well. Craig said he'd help, but no glitter. <laughs> yeah, Craig and glitter don't go on, do they? <laughs> I can't believe you're still holding a grudge. How long ago is that? What, 10 years ago? <laughs> Um, we might have had a bit of a glitter fight. <laughs> I think he got me first though with water or beer or something. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to do any more to that. I think I think it's it's had enough um, brightness <laughs> on there. So um, yeah, that can go in my journal page under um, note to self, plan ahead. <laughs> few quick shout outs uh thank you very much Maisie um great <laughs> hey glitter yes darling I know <laughs> he's still arguing no you glittered me <laughs> yeah okay I did then <laughs> um Jan thank you so much thank you everybody um for watching and joining us on this um <laughs> light-hearted journey and um we will see you Monday here for a um do you want me to put put me up yeah, yeah. um we'll see you next Monday and we will have our box kit preview for you and um we'll um do a little demo for you as well so um thanks very much for joining us Alfie bye go on come in and wave oh do I need to yes you do need to well don't move the camera <laughs> <laughs> ah, Duke! <laughs> Come on then! Come on, Dukey! He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on then! Oh! <laughs> Let me put the camera down there, you can see him. There he is! <laughs> Say bye. Say bye. Speak. 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 <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> Okay, everybody, thank you so much, and we'll Bye. see you next week. Bye. Oh, don't forget, like and share with a chance to win <laughs> all your stamps. Thanks very much. Bye. <laughs>